Hi, my name is Eric Devine with Devine Guitars and Ukuleles, and today we're going to pick up where we left off uh, with rosettes and laser engraving and epoxy filling. You can see here, I've got a couple of different uh, variations as far as how I'll go about doing my rosettes. The first way that I typically do it is I will use a, a ring of boxwood or, or any other light colored wood that's uh, basically pour free, I'll inlay that ring into the top and then cut away the negative space for it. Then that can be filled with epoxy, a black epoxy, which gives you the effect of an inlay without kind of being a traditional inlay where you think you'd actually inlay something into it. Uh, the two, or the contrasting side to, to doing an actual inlay, the rosette here uh, is actually a cutaway space. You're, you're actually inlaying the epoxy to the negative space. The actual inlay itself that I'll do on the fretboard is actually the same positive of that negative and then it's inlaid into the ebony, which you can see uh, the extremely tiny pieces there. It uh, makes for a, a challenging inlay for sure. Um, there's another way of going about doing the same style of rosette. The rosette can actually be cut with the detail before it's inlaid into the top or before the ring is put into the top and then filled from there. Uh, it makes it, I, I personally prefer the first method for putting it in, but if you don't happen to have a laser in your shop, this is a good way to do it. I actually uh, make these rosettes for a number of builders. So you know, I'm actually able to send out these rosettes to people. They can inlay them in the top themselves you know, light super glue to fill and then, uh, or excuse me, light super glue to hold it in and then fill with the black epoxy. You can actually use the same method for purfling as well uh, as a substitute for doing <clears throat> abalone or, or whatever you might be doing. The purfling strips are, are cut in long, uh, detailed strips where the negative space again is cut away. Then after they're cut, you'll glue them, or excuse me, not glue, but tape them together uh, I usually do six or eight at a time and then bend them in a standard bending machine which gives you this shaped purfling right here which you can then inlay into the uh, channel next to your binding where you might use a Teflon strip to pull to create a channel same way you inlay uh, abalone. Uh, the epoxy that I use is a, a simple five to one uh, marine epoxy. It's clear, it gets extremely hard, it lasts nearly forever. Uh, it's very easy to tint it with any sort of color that you might want to do. I use black typically just because I kind of uh, appreciate the, the real clean, crisp, you know, black and white look to it. Uh, for the tinting, you can either use a, a dye or uh, ebony dust, which we have lots of in uh, luthier shops. So <clears throat> uh, I guess that's today's lesson on rosettes. Thank you.